how does Uniswap B3 find the next tick position? For this example, we will be using the tick equal to minus 200,697. Here is the same number in binary. As a review, this sequence of bits splits into two parts. The first 16 bits is called the word position. When you evaluate just this part, this turns out to be minus 784. And the last 8 bits is called the bit position. For this example, this turns out to be equal to 7. We'll be using this example to find the tick to the left and to the right of this tick. Let's start with the example of finding the next tick to the left of the current tick. The next tick will be less than or equal to the current tick. This means that on the tick bitmap, we'll need to find the bit to the right of the current bit. Let's start with the example of the tick bitmap. Let's say that we access the key minus 784. This is the word position. Accessing this tick bitmap will give us the value of uint 256, 256 sequence of zeros and ones. Now in our example, the bit position was 7, and we want to find the next tick less than or equal to the current tick. So over here, what we want to look for is a 1 to the right of the 7th index. To find the 1 at the 7th index, or to the right of it, we first create a mask. The mask will be all ones at the 7th index and to the right of it. To the left of the 7th index, everything will be 0. We do a bitwise and with the current value that we got from the tick bitmap, and this will give us all ones to the right of the 7th index. For example, let's say that this value at the 7th index is a 0, at the 6th index is a 0, at the 5th index is also a 0, and all the way down to the 2nd index, it is equal to 0. Let's also say at the first index, we have a 1, and at the 0th index, we also have a 1. When we do a bitwise and with this mask over here, what we get is the mask value of all zeros all the way down to the first index being a 1, and the 0th index being a 1. So what we accomplished here was we got the next one to the right of the 7th index. Taking this mask value to find the next bit position, what we need to find is the index of the most significant bit from here. Now in this case, the most significant bit of this value will be the one over here. So in this value, what is the index of the most significant bit? Well, just by looking at it, we can tell that the index of the most significant bit will be the first position. So this will be equal to 1. The next bit position is equal to 1. Okay, now that we found the next bit position, how do we get the next tick? To get the next tick, we start with the current tick, minus the current bit position, and then add the next bit position. And here's the same equation with some pictures. We start with the current tick, we minus the current bit position, so now our bit position will be all zeros. And lastly, we add the next bit position. And this is how we will find the next tick to the right of the current tick. The next tick which is less than or equal to the current tick. To find the next tick which is greater than the current tick, we will do something similar. On the tick bitmap, the next tick will be to the left of the current tick. So we search left on the tick bitmap. For example, let's again start with the tick bitmap and let's access the key minus 784. Again, this is the word position. We get some kind of value of uint 256, 256 sequence of zeros and ones. The zero means that there is no tick here and one means that there is a tick at this position. Again, for this example, we will be using the seventh index. This is the bit position that we set earlier for this example. And we want to find the next tick greater than the current tick. So this means that we will need to search left of this sequence of zeros and ones. To search for all ones to the left of this seventh index from this sequence of zeros and ones, we first create a mask. This mask will be one to the left of the seventh index, will all be ones, and to the right of it, it will all be zeros. We take a bitwise n to get all ones to the left from this sequence of zeros and ones. Let's say that this is the mask value that we got. And let's also say that this part is all zeros, and here is the first one. This will be at index 255, this will be index 254, and this will be index 253. To find the next bit position to the left of the 7th index, we will need to find the index of the least significant bit from this masked value. Now we said that for this example, 
The first one that appears in this masked value is 1 over here. And we said that to the left of this one is all zeros. So what is the index of the least significant bit from this value? Well, it is this 1 over here. Since for this example, to the right of this 1 is all zeros. So this is the least significant bit. And what is the index of this one? Here we will have 255, this will be 254, and this will be index 253. So the index of the least significant bit from this mask value is 253. And this will be our next bit position. To find the next tick, what we do is we first take the current tick minus the current bit position, and then add the next bit position. And lastly, we add a 1 to make sure that the next tick is greater than the current tick. Let's see this in pictures. So again, this is the binary representation of the current tick. We minus the current bit position. This will zero out all of the current bit position. So all of this will be zeros. And then we add the next bit position. This sequence of 1s and zeros that you see over here is equal to 253. This is the next bit position. And finally, to this bit position, we add the 1 to make sure that the next tick is greater than the current tick. And this is the algorithm that finds the next tick in Uniswap B3.